do you keep seeing clips like this and want to become a neon main so badly but you just don't know how to? Well, you clicked on the right video. So I've got my essay written. <laughs> no, seriously. This video will teach you everything about Neon, such as playstyle, movement, stun lineups, and some bonus tips that I have learned while playing Neon. Things to know before we get started. If you didn't know already, every time you get kill, your bar at the bottom gets reset to 100, and also, for every two kills, you obtain your slide again. Apart from that, I've been a Neon main for a couple of months now, and I've seen she's getting picked more and more in VCT, and I saw Optic Victor absolutely mow people down with Neon, and I decided to give her a try, and yeah, I've been playing her for a couple of months now, I've learned a lot, but yeah, she is by far the most underrated duelist at the moment, and the amount of times I see people playing her wrong is just absolutely crazy, so this is why I've made a guide. But yeah, this leads me to my first point, which is movement, which is by far the most important factor when playing Neon. Okay, so for the movement guide, you're going to be learning something like this. Okay, so now you want to strafe left and right, and all you want to do is just bunny hop like normal. But every time you hit the space bar, I want you to either hit A or D and do like alternating pans between the two. And as long as you keep your bunny hops consistent and you shouldn't mess up, you should get a nice uh, strafe left to right going. And you want to do that for a while because it's really hard to get used to. Then once you've done that, you want to do the exact same thing, but with W and S. So you want to hold either A or D, depending on which way you're going, and you want to do the exact same thing, but with W and S. So start on a key and jump. And as soon as you jump, you want to hit the other key. So basically just like this. And then once you've done that and got it consistent, you can go around the map just doing strafing left to right and up and down. Then you can mold them together basically and do it in one and then that's how you get really good unpredictable movement. When playing Neon, your main goal is to take as much space as possible. Using her kit, you're usually the first one to enter and clear the site. So you can either do one or two things. Number one is be greedy and push to try and catch your enemies off guard, which can be very risky. Or you can sit on site and position yourself to where you are holding an entrance to the site. You need to be mindful of tunnel visioning and not getting too greedy as most people rush too hard and die. Neon's ultimate can be very broken if used effectively. You can double slide with Neon by using her normal slide first and then pulling out your ultimate and using her second slide straight after. With her ult, you can take sites pretty fast and clear lots of corners as you don't need to stop running and therefore you can easily get tunnel visioned and run into their spawn without realising, causing yourself to die. If you have her ult available and it's an eco round, I'd recommend using it instead of just trying to eco as it's a really powerful ultimate which if you just pair it with like something like a heavy shield you don't even need a weapon just get a heavy shield and if you manage to kill someone during that eco round you can easily pick up their weapon and yeah you're chilling basically. Do not peek to throw a stun. You can use walls around you to bounce your stuns off to reduce the risk of getting shot. So if you can't bounce your stun off any walls I'd recommend jump peeking and throwing a stun at the same time. And here are some quick stun lineups for each map mainly for attacking side and these are really helpful just to clear corners when pushing on sites with Neon. Okay, so this is how I would attack Icebox A site and what I would do is I'd use the sun lineups to clear common angles and then I'd use my stun to isolate the enemies on site. As you see, we've got a couple of lineups on Icebox. There's not really that much except from this one real extreme lineup which no one would ever do, but I found it so I'm gonna show it. Like, yeah, if someone does this in game, I'd literally just scream, but yeah, anyway, Ascent has really good lineups for A-Site, you can clear almost every corner, which is really good, so that makes Neon powerful for Ascent, at least. Ascent B-Site, essentially you can use your wall to cut the site in half, and then you can get around the enemies who are on site. So I see so many people just dry peeking uh, B-Main while playing Neon, and that's really bad because Neon doesn't have a dash or anything, just a dip out of there if she misses any shots. So always try and throw a stun before peeking. But yeah, I've really not covered a lot of the maps. These are just the ones I found. So if you want like a full stun lineups video, then definitely leave a comment down below. I really, I found another crazy stun lineup, which is off here, which will stun all of um, tower. So, or is it tower? Is it bridge? I don't even know. But yeah, now on fracture, B site, there is so many on fracture. It's so good because you can bounce it off so many diff different angles to get some nice peaks. How to use the wall effectively. You can use the wall to get into their spawn quickly without anyone seeing you. 
However, this does not help your team clear the site in any way, so I'd say it's a high risk, high reward play. You also have to be careful of people going through your wall and killing you while you are running. So make sure to stun certain places your enemies could be to prevent this. Bonus tips. Neon works better with a phantom because most of her fights are close range and the last thing you want to do is take a long range fight with Neon. In the first round the frenzy becomes a really strong weapon when playing Neon if you are able to force short encounters. In addition Neon's kit allows for a wide variety of guns to be played such as shotguns and SMGs as if you just force a short encounter then you're most likely going to win the fight. Try not to hold common angles as you don't have a dash or dismiss to stop getting traded. If you are defending, getting a 1 for 1 trade favours the attackers as you give up sight control. So always be mindful when peeking a certain area if you know the whole enemy team might be pushing from there. If you didn't know, neon stuns go through walls. Always aim neon's wall high up so the wall doesn't get cut off. Neon stuns are fast so you could use them mid fight as seen in this clip right here. Most of the time Neon can be too fast for your team, so be careful and don't run into a site alone as your team will be struggling to keep up with how fast you are going. So just be mindful of your teammates. Neon's run is actually so quick that you can just get into the enemy spawn so quickly and so easily and just catch so many people off guard. However, you have to make sure that you're not being too greedy Otherwise, you'll literally just throw the whole round like I did in this clip right here. Obviously, I got way too greedy, threw my wall up and just instantly died. So you need to have a balance of knowing when to push their spawn to catch people off guard and knowing when to not push because you'll probably die. And there you have it. You should have a strong understanding about Neon and some tricks to help boost your performance when playing Neon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.